All right, so here we are. We're playing something very different. This is something I've been working on for a very long time. It is a MAME computer, um, which will end up in a cabinet at some point. Um, I'll be down here in this little box. You can actually see me doing what's going to be in the main picture. Um, today we're going to be playing a game that I hadn't had a lot of experience with prior to setting this up. But now that I've set this up and have tried it out, I've actually enjoyed it quite a lot. And it's a game called Kicker. Um, I have set this up where I can use these controls here. And there we go. I figured out which button it was. So it, it routes it through MAME. And, uh, yeah, I, if anybody's not familiar with MAME, basically it's a emulator that emulates arcade cabinets. Um, it's not perfect. I've had to implement three other programs to get all the games to work. Um, so let's enter a coin here, and let's play some kicker. So if you haven't figured it out by the title, the main point of this game is to kick. <laughs> Couldn't be any more simple than that. So here we are, we're kicking away. Those orbs, if you can catch them, are power-ups that uh, are very temporary. Oh. You have to watch out for that edge. Because you will just fall on your face. Now you, you basically you get three hits and then you're out. So to speak. Uh, this guy has a little extra life. The second round on each level has, I guess you would consider, a boss. Uh, when he starts blinking, that means he's about to die. Which is the same for yourself. As you see, I just got a power up there. Um, oops. I did die. But it does save your place, which is nice. Um, you can see along the top how many people you have to uh, kick before you move on to the next round. Right above where it says 1, 2, 3, out. Ooh. I've done better. <laughs> There's this, just this guy. And there we go. Let's move on to a new location. Uh, an outdoor one. So, not sure if this was ported to systems, to be honest with you. Uh, if it was, I've never seen it. I feel like this would make for a good NES game. It just has that NES feel to it. Come on, I don't want to die. I can do this. One guy. Oh, he got me. I don't know how he got me. That's alright, I've got a little more health left, and at 30,000, I believe, you gain another life. I think that's how this goes on. Yep, yep, there we go. Alright, so this, uh, Chun Li sort of thing here is the boss. Oh, she got me pretty good. <laughs> Now, even if you put in multiple coins, you don't get to continue. So if I were to lose again, we will have to start over at the beginning. But uh, in the all immortal words of Steve Benway, this is not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. Just me playing this game badly, so you can see what it looks like. And if he ever watches one of these, he'll know that I've been ripping off that for, <laughs> for some time now. Um... Oh yeah, we don't have time for this. We're gonna play another round, is what we're gonna actually do. So put in another coin by Konami, 1985. Not Pachinko. If only they would've known. But their future would hold. Yeah, this game... I, I must have seen a video on it somewhere. It was on my list of games to add to the main cabinet. And I couldn't remember what it was. But I'm glad I did, because this is now one of my favorite arcade games. I'd love to have found this in the wild somewhere, uh, you know, out in an arcade. The arcade that's near me definitely does not have this. It never has had this either. Being that I have been going there for over 20 years, I think I would have noticed. Yeah, the most arcades you go to now, they got all these... Almost looks like cell phone games, but in arcade form. 
I was just uh, in an arcade that's in Disney, and it's just, I don't know, the games don't feel very arcadey anymore. They just seem like you're playing a glorified cell phone game with giant screens and controls. So, to uh, remedy this situation, there's where the MAME cabinet comes in. And MAME is something that you can play in just about any computer. Um, even going down to is like a retro pie kind of thing. Um, doesn't take a lot of power to play something as simple as this. Uh, which, at the time I'm not even paying as much attention to this game, I'm doing so much better. Um, there are some games though where it does take some good graphical power to make work properly. Um, I am running a quad core 3 gigahertz. Oop, I was taken out. Um, AMD 640 from back in the day. It's actually quite old now, but works great. It's mostly all MAME uses is uh, processor. You actually could run it with integrated graphics because MAME doesn't look at anything else. Now, if you're using another emulator like RetroArch, uh, RetroArch has the capabilities of outreaching to your graphics card. Um, some of the games like Tekken Tag, I had to use RetroArch with. Otherwise, uh, it just wouldn't play. It would, well, it would start. Uh, wasn't playable, I guess you can say. But even in that, RetroArch's not perfect either. Oops. Um, for example, Tekken 3 would at least start in MAME, but it won't even start at all using uh, RetroArch. So, you know, there's no perfect thing, but in, in a sense, what do you expect? You're emulating thousands of parts from different machines. It's not going to be perfect across the board. Oh my. Fire breather. I might not make it past this stage. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, a knife throw. Maybe if we, uh, had to outmaneuver him? Yeah. That's what it takes. Alright. Oh! Well, I thought I did pretty well, to be honest. Especially since most of the time I was facing this way and just hammering away on the, uh, the controls. Um, but yeah, it doesn't... MAME does not save your high scores in the long run, um, but it does while you're playing it. So if I want to put in Gen 10 Station, GTS, I can do that. And if, as long as I don't close the game out, it's still there. I hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't played Kicker, you should play Kicker. That's the real Kicker of this video, and I'll see you next time.